Hey everyone, Johnny Trek here, and welcome back to a guide to Noble Fates. So in the last episode, or last part I should say, we talked about the nobles. In this episode, I want to talk about building. So we're going to pause the game here, and we're going to go over here into kind of a an open area. That deer's in the way. Let's go over... Let's go over here. This No, there's, there's no deer. You know what? Whatever. Stupid deers. So, building is very, very important in the game because buildings, one, will give you shelter, but it also gives nobles a place to call home. And their homes, as you put items in there, add to the prestige of a noble. So, as, as I mentioned before, nobles can start getting really high requirements for prestige, and having a building really helps with that. Because you can just start throwing stuff inside there, and that count towards, can't count towards their total prestige. So to start building, you're going to hit the build button down here, and you're going to hit structure. A building requires three things. Okay, well I guess four things. It requires floors, walls, a door so you can get in, and a roof. Or at least some sort of roof. You can actually use floors as a roof if you wanted to, as long as it is a way for you to in, like, enclose a room you can either use roofs or floors so i'm going to start with the floor and i'm going to do a little it's like a little four by four here now when you select these items well these types of uh materials there's a few things you want to look at like for example ramsackle floors compared to wood floors one they require higher building you know zero building to to level one so not that bad but you also want to look at a few other things so quality well, not too big health that could matter depending on if you use it as a defensive structure prestige uh you know go up to higher stuff the prestige is higher so they'll be happy like your nobles will be happier with them and then insulation how well is it going to hold the heat heat is a temperature is a big part of the game especially in winter so you know we have like 20 insulation for the stone we have 15 for the fine which i don't know why so, um, so something to keep in mind. Next is going to be the walls. Generally, your walls are what's going to be used for defensive structures as you build, like, say, a, a wall around your uh, little kingdom. And you're going to be doing the same thing. You're really going to be looking at the prestige, the insulation, and the health of these walls. Um, and you can kind of see the potential versus the expected. So, the potential is kind of like what they can get up to. But the expected is, this is what you're kind of going to, you're, you're essentially going to get. So I'm going to start with the wood wall. And I'm going to just kind of build around here. Make a little room, a little 4 by 4 room. And then we're going to do a door. Same thing, I mean, it's all, it's all the same thing. Insulation, of course, it's doors, so they're going to lose heat. Because it's a door. And then we're going to do a roof. So I'm just going to do a little straw roof right here. Actually, no, let's do the wood, wood roof and do this. Now, in this update, the latest update, you can build roofs on top of roofs like this if you wanted to. It looks a little weird with some of them. The fine stone roof is probably the best. It actually is flush when you do multiple... Oops. When you do um, uh, multiple things, like multiple tiers like this. By the way, with the roof, if you hit the Z, it disappears the roof. It removes it. You hit Z again, it brings it back. All right, so this is our room. If you click on one of the panels in here, you can see it's in room, room. If you want to, I have this off by default. Um, but you might actually see like these, like this, and I think um, this, you might see multiple lines like this. This is telling you there's room and a building in here. So the room is going to be the green one and the building is going to be the purple one. I generally keep these off because this, I don't really like this, like, border around. So I usually keep these turned off, but, you know, turn them on if you wanted to or not. Up to you. But anyway, so yeah, I'm going to select this and we can see, we can see it's in the room. So I want to make this into an apartment. So how do I do that? Actually, wait, I'm going to make this into just a, yeah. I guess apartment should be fine. So I'm going to select a bed. Now you have many different kinds of beds here. Um, and of course, the higher the bed, the more prestige you get. But also the better sleep quality you'll get. 
Straw gives you 50% sleep quality, but the fancy wood bed gives you 100, and the fine bed gives you um, 125. And then what's the difference between the fancy and the fancy double? Well, the fancy double allows people, or nobles, to yodel. Yodel is how you make babies in the game. I'll leave it at that. So I'm going to put the fancy wood in here for now. And we're going to do this. And since that's showing up, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to get rid of those because I don't want that. Loop. And, okay, we're good. Now, after that, I'm going to, let's, let's go ahead and put down a table. I'm going to do a table. Let's do a large stone table. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, tables don't really do anything other than just provide prestige. That's pretty much it. And now we're going to do a chair. Chairs do two things. They provide prestige, and they provide a place for your nobles to sit when they eat. So I'm going to do four chairs. And call it good. All right. So now, when you click on here, you're going to notice it is now a Tier 1 apartment. So if I click on that, it's going to show that this is a Tier 1 apartment. It's also in a Tier 1 building. But first, we're going to look at the type. So a Tier 1 apartment, what is that? What, what, what is type? these room types? If you click on this, you'll kind of see what all of these are. So we start at the bottom. We have a regular room, which has nothing inside it. A cave, which is... A cave, you know, you see that down down under the ground. And then you have workshop. Workshop is essentially one of any of these crafting materials, so crafting stuff. Storeroom. Um, you, you know, based on how many towers you have, and whether or not you have one, any one, of these um, storage items. A library requires a book set. A dining room. A dining rooms require, require a certain amount of tiles, a table, and... A certain amount of chairs. This has like a lot of chairs for a tier fourteen, a tier four dining room. You have a nursery, which is consists of a crib, a bedroom, which is a bed and tiles. Yeah, you know these these sort of things. Feel free to take a look at these. But we have a tier one apartment. Well, what if you wanted a tier two apartment or tier three or a tier four? Well, essentially, we actually already have that. We we meet pretty much all the requirements minus one of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into Furniture, Storage, Small Storage, and I'll pop it right there. Now it's a Tier 4 apartment. We just went from a Tier 1 to a Tier 4 just by adding one extra item. So the higher tier essentially will be more prestige, but as you add more stuff inside there, that will also add more prestige to your Noble. So what's next? Well, it's a Tier 4 apartment in a Tier 4 cabin. Well, what's about that? What 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 are buildings? So if you click on building, you have a few different buildings. There's not as many rooms, but you have shacks, cabins, ramblers, and chateaus, and then commons. Some there's some of the ones. Some of these are kind of interesting because a bedroom is essentially a shack, an apartment is a cabin, um, and it matches the tier. So these are pretty simple. A tier 4 bedroom is a tier 4 shack. A tier 4 cabin is a tier 4 apartment. Pretty simple. But then you get into your like ramblers and chateaus. These require more rooms if you want to do this. So for example, example, let's say we want a rambler. Well, it requires at least a dining room. Okay, well let's do that. A little hint is if you select on an item like this, you can hit tool and it will bring up a copy of that tool for you to start building. So I'm going to go ahead and build a dining room here. I'm going to select on the floor, hit tool, and do the same thing. Door, put the door right here. Copy you. And then we're going to copy the chairs. We're going to do maybe one here, some here. And you know what, just for the heck of it, I'm going to throw some chairs here. Because you know what, we just love to play musical chairs in in here so you know go go crazy we, we love to play musical chairs so now if i go ahead and oh don't forget you need the roof very important to put the roof on here okay now that it is a enclosed room is a tier 4 dining room in a tier 4 cabin there we go so but the problem is well what happened to the tier 4 rambler i thought it was supposed to be here well, 
because we don't have a tier one bedroom. Because this is technically a tier one apartment. So what we need to do is we need to cancel these. We need to get rid of these chairs and this table. Now this would be a bedroom. Now it would be a T4 Rambler. There we go. So you guys gotta make sure you have the requirements on here. The Chateau is similar to the Rambler, it just requires more rooms. So if I wanna do a tier one Chateau, I need a tier one storeroom. So, um, you know what we're gonna do is we'll just go ahead and make a little storeroom right here. Don't forget the door, don't forget the floors. Bring it down inside there. Yep. Maybe. So if we ever get into the situation, if you hold down Alt and then scroll real up, sometimes it might go up and then go down. It kind of kind of bugs out. It allows you to uh, you like put stuff on that on that current floor you have. So as you can see, everything is now gone. If I want to go down levels, if I start mining, or if I want to go up levels. You know, maybe I'm building inside these, so I want to see what's going on. If you hit tab, it it brings everything back up to normal. So I'll go ahead and hit Z again so I can get the roofs. Hit Z again to this you no know, to move it. I'm gonna to hit tool so I can copy that and cancel you. There we go. So now we should have a tier one chateau. Fantastic. So what I can do with this next is I go into belongings you see that there is a tier one chateau available and it'll kind of show you everything that's inside there. Well, I'm going to give this to Radam, Ramtam. Boom. Now he has a tier one chateau. Proceeds is zero because nothing is built yet. Even though we have all this stuff, there's no proceeds because there's nothing built. So there's really nothing we can do about it right now. Until things get built, that's, your, that's going to be it. And that's pretty much it for uh, buildings. Hey everyone, well, um, it's me, and I forgot to mention one other thing. When you build stuff, um, it requires people to learn how to build things. So right now we have Olives, right here, who is learning how to build the wooden crates. So when you build stuff, people don't know how to build it right off the bat. They need to learn how to build it. So when you put down the crates, Olives is learning how to build it because no one knows how to build it. The unfortunate thing is that it has to be done per noble. So even one person learns it, another person has to learn it too. The other thing too is if you put something down you haven't like you haven't built anything under before, um, they have to go through the whole process of learning how to build it. So for example, if you put down a bed, like say we put down a wooden bed, they need to learn how to make a straw bed, then the ramsockle bed, then the stone bed before they can build this bed. So it is a, this is something you gotta keep in mind is if you put something down, they're gonna have to learn, it, learn to build it and they need to learn everything before that to build as well. So back to John. So there's a few things you do wanna keep in mind. One is you need to worry about lighting. As I mentioned before, um, you don't need, you know, you wanna make things bright. So, and you don't need to worry about whether or not it's too bright. You know, yeah, I mean, I could just do this. I could put all these lights right here. In fact, they might even be happy. They're like, oh, it's nice and bright. Um, you know, so just kind of do this. You know, throw all this stuff around here. Put lights everywhere. Everyone loves lights. So you want to make sure your rooms are lit. Um, the different lights as well. I don't think they change. I don't think there's a thing that mentions like one light source is brighter than the other. I think they all give off the same amount of light. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know. But it's mainly going to be the prestige you get out of it and what kind of fuel they have, how fast they burn it, and whether or not they kind of give off temperatures. These razors give off 1.75 temperature, well, degrees in temperature. These, the walls give off one. Uh, these standing, standing lamps uh, give off, well, that gives off one. That gives off none. That is 0.5. So you want to make sure things are bright. The other thing too you want to keep in mind is temperature. So, I mean, well, it's heat. So right now it's not bad. 48 degrees outside right now. It's summer, so it's going to heat up a little bit. And once it gets to fall and winter, it's going to get cold. And if you want, you can hit U to bring up the temperature overlay. 
right now, you know, it's a lighter green, so you know, it's maybe a little chilly inside here at 47 degrees, but it's not bad. But eventually, if you, and if you hit you again, it goes away. But eventually, you want to make sure everyone stays warm. So there's kind of two main ways you can heat uh, heat places, uh, heat the temp uh, a building. You can use the fire pits, which is, you know, not too efficient. Generally, you know, you like you know, put them outside or something. Oh, you can use hearths. Hearths are great because they add more temperature, and the fine stone hearth adds even more. And you can just kind of throw them inside here. Um. Well, let's go ahead. Let's, we're gonna put you. We're gonna put you over here, so you're not in front of, in front of that uh, light. Now, the one thing with putting a fire source inside a house is you need exhaust. So with exhaust, there's two options you can go with. You can either go with chimneys for the hearths. So in this case, I can just build a chimney. It goes right on top, even sticks out of the roof. Looks kind of cool. Or you can add exhaust pipes. So the exhaust pipes are kind of cool because, you know, especially if you have a multi-story level, uh, a multi-story house, building, whatever, or if you're building underground or in the t or on a mountain, you can't use the chimney. So that's where the exhaust vents come in handy. If I can click on it. What you can do is, you know, kind of hover over something like this. In this case, it snaps right to the hearth. You're going to click and drag, and it'll just drag right outside. So now you have an exhaust, and you can see how it points down into the, the hearth. But you have an exhaust now. And these things are really cool. So you can actually attach them, and you can really do whatever you want with these. So, you know, if I wanted a you know, do you like a crazy exhaust? You know, you could do something like that. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. So go ahead and counter that. And the same as I was talking about before, if you double click, it's going to highlight everything of that same type on screen. We're going to counter this. Now you do also have coolers. Coolers are well, a cooler. They help doing this uh, somewhere when it gets hot. But these do require things called frost caps, and you can't find those outside. You have to find them in caves. Now, you might randomly come across them as you're digging in, inside mountains or underground. Or from time to time, you'll get a, um, a character who comes in who says, Hey, I can find a cavern where these are at for you, but it's going to cost you two drinks. So it's something to keep in mind. Oh, so when you go and, you and if you do find these, you do not want to cut them all down. They're just like trees. If you cut everything out, they're gone. That's it. Um, you want to make sure you save a few frost caps for them to regrow. Because once you cut them all, that's it. They're gone. You'd also have uh, vents, so like roof vents. So if you really know if you... I don't actually think it will work for these. I think it only works for the fire pits. Um, maybe one you could do a roof vent. Like right above this, and it's it's a vent. Generally, it's meant for like the fire pits. So they also have wall vents. So this will allow you to transfer temperature or heat in between the rooms. So this will trans uh, transfer heat into this room. So those are kind of really the big main things. Um, now, the one thing, this episode might go a little bit longer, because I'm going to go over some of this other stuff as well, some of the other things. But the one thing we may want to do is, you can see there's only a few certain building types. Um, but I kind of like to have fun with stuff. So one of the things I like to do is make an inn. Now, there's no inn in the game. It's just, it's just something I call it, because technically it is an inn, but there's, there's no inn type in the game. So what I do is I just kind of, you know, start with a little building here. Oops, if I can do this, um, you know, go ahead and maybe plop down a few tables and maybe get a few chairs inside here. This way we have a place for people to come sit around. Uh, don't forget the door. Gotta have the door. I wish they had signs, though. I wish you could have, like, signs you can hang out. That'd be amazing. Then I'm going to do stairs. I'm going to grab a stair so I can go to the second story. So we'll, we'll do... Let's do this. We'll do a, a corner stair here. And what we're going to do is now go up. So select the floor again. Kind of hover over one of the edge of the walls here. I'm just going to click and drag. This will automatically um, not cover stairs. So you don't have to worry about blocking somebody out. 
And then we're going to go ahead, do another, we need another wall. Excuse me, do another wall. And then we need to put a roof on top of here. And you know what, we're going to kind of maybe come and come out a little bit like this. Oops. You know, do something like this. It looks weird, I know, but you know. You know, but maybe we do like columns. Columns, they don't really do anything, they're just here for decoration. So, but you know, do a little column like this. It's very ugly looking in, I know, but, you know. Yeah, it is, it is what it is. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make some rooms. So, you know, do a room here, do a room here, and then maybe do like another room right here. Then, of course, you know, don't forget the autosave, very important. Then we're going to put a door here, door here, and another door here. Then I'm going to grab a bed. So we'll do a bed here, here, and here. Okay, perfect. So we have our room. So for the most part, our inn is completed. But like I said, there's no such thing as an inn in the game. So as right now, there's a dining room down here and a rambler. But what makes this an inn is that you can select these beds. And there's a for rent option. So as people come to visit your kingdom, they can rent beds. And they'll stay in the beds and they'll give you coins for it. So right now, these beds will be about one coin per day. If you want, you can increase this if you wanted to. There's really nothing crazy, so you can't, so like, really don't want to charge anything crazy. Just kind of keep it as zero. But this is what an inn would be. That's what I call an inn. So, um, the other thing I forgot to mention too, is if you select on one of these walls, you see there's a type. So you can do wall or you can window. So you like, you know, you want to put some windows inside here. You know, just kind of, you know, make things look a little, little bit nice, you can. Windows don't do anything. They are literally there just for looks. That's it. They don't do anything temperature-wise. You can't shoot through them if you have a bow. Walls are just, windows are just walls with a hole in it. And that, like, game-wise, that's it. There is nothing windows do other than a wall. This wall is the same as this wall. There is no difference other than there's a, there's a decorative hole inside it. That's all, all it is. So, um, after that, the next thing you kind of have to look at is the decor. So, um, oh, actually, before I forget, uh, you do have cribs. Cribs, you know, you have four different versions of them. Um, they're for babies. And they give you, essentially give the baby a, a more comfort. And a, happy, a happier baby gives them more development points, which are the traits they can spend on, um, as they go from one stage to another. So if you can, try to get like really nice cribs for your kids. At least try to go with like wood or stone if possible. Um, and always keep them happy. Uh, storage. These are just storage stoves. You have three different kinds. Um, and essentially the difference between them is how much they can hold. So I mean this can hold more than this and this can hold more, more than this. But same as the stockpile, you can select what you want on here. Um, and then the usable, use kind of three usable items you have on here. You can do a perch. What the perches do is a bird will land on here and it gives you access to petitions. Petitions are things that uh, your adventures. So somebody might have a petition for you to come, like come help defend them from an evasion or go attack somebody that they don't like. Some might even be like, hey, we like you. Take this, like take these items to show our respect. Um, here we go back. Uh, you have the cornucopias, which is is hilarious. These things are huge. I love how like huge these are. But what these do is that they allow you to have a feast. So from time to time, somebody will say, hey, we should have a feast. And what a feast does is that it's just a little celebration, um, allows people to eat your food. I did not mean to hit the screenshot button, I'm sorry. Um, and what happens to your ruler were, will have three options. The first option is that they will be able to recognize somebody and will make, make that person happy. Next one is uh, to preach about something, whether it be a skill, an item, whatnot. You just preach about like, you know, hey, we need to come love Axis. And then you have one that kind of inspires. And, you know, if you want to, you can inspire building or inspire farming or whatever. So you have access to all three of those during the feast. 
So from here, if you really want to, you can just, well, once you're done, there's an option here that says set feast. So you can do that manually if you wanted to, or just wait through the game does it naturally. Um, and then you have the wedding arch. So the wedding arch just allows you to marry people. That's about it. So nothing crazy there. Uh, we already lighting structures, uh, columns, are just decorations. Same with the accents. These are mainly just decorations as well. Um, the bracers, like, you know, bracers are just kind of things you can put out. You know, not, not, nothing, nothing ridiculous, crazy. Uh, I guess the big one, though, is going to be the this portcullis. This actually, well, I can't choose it, but this actually will give you kind of a gate you can build. And you can see this a good chunk of health. Um, I guess they also have supports. So the supports, you can put them and attach them to walls. And they'll have a certain amount of health. So as somebody tries to break in through a wall, they have to go through the support, and then they have to go through the wall, I believe. So. And then you have decor. Decors don't do anything other than just decorations. Um, when you stack in one of these, they have a prestige. When you put them in something, um... Like, let's say this nice chest, you can get up to 96 prestige on this, but it requires 96 level rods. But I put it inside here, and once it's built, that prestige will now be attached to everything inside here. Um, and that's pretty much it for decor. There's like, they don't do anything other than just add prestige to your, uh, to whoever home this they own. I mean, if you want, you can do carpets, if you want to make things look a little bit nicer. You have seasonal stuff, so you know if you want to just put a Christmas tree inside your inn, maybe a, a, a wreath, you know, make things a little bit, you know, festive looking. And that's it. That, that's pretty much what the decor does. So, um, you know, you have tabletop, so you can put things like, for example, you put these on the floor if you want, or put them on the table. You know, that's about it. So that's really the overview of building. Um. It's nothing else too crazy, so, I mean, really the biggest thing is just kind of go through here, you know, find things that you want to kind of try to build, you know, do what you like. You know, like these little parapets here, you can stick on top of the walls, you know, kind of do those little, little things that stick out. Um, you know, I've got to find walls, so you have to find railings you can put on too. Uh, or if you want to do the railings, you know, do something like this. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. You know, we'll go back through here and just change this into a fine wall. Like that. Perfect. Bloop. And maybe I want to change the top into the nice wood, nice looking wood. You know, the things you generally see in, uh, like medieval times. Stuff like that. So, really the biggest thing is just kind of play around and have fun with it. So, I'm going to call it here. So, thank you everyone for joining me in this episode. And I will see you in the next part.